These photographs captured the last few minutes of Ian Tomlinson's life. Wearing a grey T-shirt over a Millwall top, he was a newspaper seller making his way home at the end of the day, his route repeatedly blocked by riot officers policing the G20 demonstration. Then came what's potentially the critical moment. A group of officers were clearing a street near the Bank of England when one shoved him hard, knocking him to the floor, leaving him remonstrating from the pavement. A new post-mortem examination made public today concludes that when he died a few yards further up the road, the cause was internal bleeding. This is the spot where Ian Tomlinson was pushed to the ground by a policeman in a riot helmet with his face covered by a balaclava before dying a few minutes later. Now following that second post-mortem examination, an officer has been interviewed under caution for manslaughter. The first post-mortem examination had suggested Ian Tomlinson had died of a heart attack. It's these new findings that have opened up the possibility of manslaughter charges and have clearly stunned his family. There's a lot of uh, anger, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of stress going through the family. Um, my sisters, my mum's like, uh, suffering quite bad from it. Uh, we just want the truth and we hope that the IPCC do a thorough investigation. The second post-mortem examination was done by Home Office pathologist Nat Carey, who worked on the Ipswich murders, though his conclusion that Ian Tomlinson's death was caused by internal bleeding is still provisional. There are many, many causes of abdominal hemorrhages. They can either be traumatic or non-traumatic, and traumatic causes are uh, things like road traffic accidents and so forth, um, and non-traumatic are things like ulcers in the stomach, which then bleed within the stomach itself. The protest on April the 1st started at midday and lasted late into the night. There's been an unprecedented volume of criticism of the policing of the G20 demonstrations. In all, 145 people have made complaints so far, 70 of them objecting to the excessive use of force and around 40 complaining about police tactics. But the death of Ian Tomlinson has overshadowed all the other concerns. The Metropolitan Police today repeated its sincere regret for the tragedy, which threatens to further damage the force's tarnished reputation.